So why do black men choose white women? This video is brought to you by Beating Black and Blue. Beating Black and Blue, my brand new book, Being a Police Officer, a Black Police Officer in an America Under Siege. Go ahead and get it now. Amazon, number one on Amazon for new releases in law enforcement. But uh, I think we can do a lot better. If you already got the book, make sure you go on and give a five-star review. If you believe that this book is five stars, like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you get a notification anytime I go live. Y'all know what to do. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, I didn't have no politics to talk about, right? We already talked about Justice Smooth, yay. We already talked about uh, Cuomo, all these other people. I, I don't have any politics to talk about. And I feel like that uh, it's, it's, in, it's intuitive or appropriate to talk about other social issues that are out there that I think people want to hear about. So I'm going to try to make this short and sweet. The question is always posed to me and, and in people who I believe are not acting in good faith. Um, some of them may be jealous or haters. Some of them may be brainwashed or confused or even misinformed about interracial dating. So people that know me know that my wife is white, right? And then my, my oldest son, his mom is white. Uh, me and her met in college uh, way back in 2010. So, People criticize me, and they criticize other black men. Although if you look at statistical data, most black people marry black people at like 80%, white people marry white people, whatever. whatever. It's just a phenomenon where there's a crossover. And people criticize me sometimes, and they, they, they especially from black people. They, oh, you a traitor to your race. Black men shouldn't date white women. You just date white women as if it's some fetish or something crazy like that. But let me break it down to you. And I made a video a while back that got millions of views where I spoke about this a long time ago. But I'm going to give another statement about it just very quickly so people can understand. In my opinion, based on my experience and the people that I know, because I know a whole bunch of brothers that marry white women. 99.99% of the time is because of culture. I think people get caught up in their emotions and get caught up in rhetoric and think it's about race. No, it's more so about availability to certain women and culture. Normally when you see men who make it in, in, in the NFL, NBA, and they go marry white women and, and people perceive, oh, that person's a sellout or whatever the case may be. No, it's because that person has now been in, interjected into a different culture. And I said this in my last video about family, marriage. When you look at the statistical data, you see the 70 plus percent of black households, um, children are born out of wedlock. I grew up with my parents not together. Uh, and so when you are involved in a culture that may be more appreciative of the family structure or for, for whatever reason, the family structure is more intact and you get to a point where you're outside of your childhood, outside of where you grew up at, and now you perceive that I want this family, I want this type of environment, then you go for the people that are doing that. People that more than likely their parents are together. Or they have a structural environment that you feel like is conducive uh, for what you want in the future. People that are less argumentative. People that are more agreeable with you. People that may agree with you politically. People that may understand financial uh, success and you may want to attain that relationship with them. That has, that has minimal to do with race. And like I said, there's a lot of successful black people that are married to black people. There's a lot of conservative black people that are married to black people. ABL's wife is black. Ben Carson's wife is black. Uh, I can go down the list of many black people who are conservative that marry black people. And it's not necessarily the race, it's culture. The reason I married my wife had nothing to do with the color of her skin. I've dated black women plenty of times. My first serious girlfriend, well, my first girlfriend in high school was black. Girlfriend in college was black. I dated a few other black women while I was a police officer. And the reason why I dated my wife is because we agree on how to raise children. We agree on politics. We we agree on many things. We have a same, similar sense of humor. My wife is ambitious. You know, she uh, compensates for the things that I feel like that I, I lack. You know, I, I'm not a fashion person, but my wife is really good at fashion. She's really good at budgeting. You know, she, she does a lot of great things. And as a partnership, it makes sense. You know, all of my friends who are married to white women or women outside of their quote unquote race um, are married because these women were loving to them, kind to them, supportive of them. And in many of these cases, and I'm just going to be honest, many of these cases, I think that there is the reason why we do see this sometimes. And, and it's back to the culture is because some of these young people who are raised without fathers Raised with mama that say, I don't need no man. 
And I'm not saying that every white person got a daddy and every black person don't have a daddy. But what I'm saying is that when you look at the statistical data and, and even your own personal experience, just keep it real. Um, then you see that when a person is raised in a family where I don't need no man, we we doing good, we out here surviving. When that person is born in that situation, I believe the lack of fatherhood, you don't know how to treat a man. You don't understand what it is to be uh, vulnerable with another person, especially a man being vulnerable, uh, cooking, cleaning, doing things that you believe is a servant or a servant, a service to your husband. And then this feminist movement and got women all, all wackied out. But uh, realistically speaking, men are desiring women who are that way. When I was growing up, women like that used to get criticized. Right. Yeah, the white woman, they all way. Y'all, y'all, y'all want the white woman because they weak. Y'all want the white woman because they, they, y'all, y'all, they, they'll, they'll do whatever you want to do. They don't never say, they ain't got no, nothing to say. And it's like, well, that's the point. You know what I'm saying? You want a woman that's agreeable. You want a woman that, that's going to be nice to you. You don't want a woman that's argue with you all the time. You don't, you don't want a woman that want to wear the pants. And, and, and y'all, y'all battling who the man in the house. And unfortunately, from my personal experience, and it's obviously not the experience of every person, is that certain cultures of people, typically lower income, poor people, have this mentality that is not productive um, I would argue counterproductive to marriage and to things that successful people want to obtain. And I'll finish it with this. Just this is my thoughts. Um, I would argue that people need to stop looking at race. Look at love. Okay. Marry who you love. Don't marry who you look like because a lot of y'all miserable because you want to marry who you look like instead of marrying who you love. Um, the person that's going to be um, the best fit for your family, the best fit as a wife, as a help meet, according to the Bible, a person that's going to be supportive of you. And I'm speaking to men um, for the women, a man that's going to be a leader and responsible that you can depend on. It doesn't matter what color they are. It matters what they are to you. Love is love no matter what. So I just wanted to throw that out there. Just my my quick thoughts on interracial dating. I mean, I could have a whole podcast. Me and my wife are going to start our own podcast. Uh, but you can have a whole podcast talking about these things because it's something that has come up and people criticize me all the time and criticize other black people. Oh, you just marry white women. Crank Candace Owens' husband is white. You just marry white people, and, you know. And so I think it, it's invaluable to have the conversation about why. Why do most people do this? And, and generally speaking, it's because of culture. It's because you are in a realm or a culture or you identify with a certain set of skills or, or, or culture, cultural identity practices that are conducive for your life. So anyway, love you guys. Um, today wasn't about politics. Uh, sometimes I talk about different things. Being Black and Blue, my book, Being America, being a Black Police Officer in America on the Siege, uh, put in a discount code, keep it 100, get 20% off the entire store. I, I love you guys. Appreciate you. See you on the next one. I'm out. Uh,